Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do government schemes by the Ministry of MSME. Very important session. We are going to do three important schemes. Only three schemes we are going to do today. Very important for your exam, right? Uh, this session we are doing for IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 2024 exam, right? And IBPS RRB Scale 3 uh, and Scale 2 2024 course is available on bank exams today in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, uh, live uh, test, test series, weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance. Link to join the course is available in the description. My WhatsApp number is always there 9067201000. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. So let's uh, just start the session and let me just hide myself so that you can focus on the content. So PME GP, first of all, you should remember the full form Prime Minister Employment Generation Program, right? So what is PME GP? It is a credit linked subsidy scheme. It is a first of all, you should remember it is a credit linked subsidy scheme. You get a loan from the bank under the scheme and you get a subsidy. How much is a subsidy? We are going to discuss in the next slides. It was launched by the government of India in the month of August uh, 2008 and it is administered by Ministry of MSME, right? And what is the goal? The goal is to generate employment opportunities through establishment of micro enterprises. See students, uh, micro enterprises, they need funding, they need finance. So the banks are going to provide funding and the government is going to provide subsidy to the new entrepreneurs, right? So the scheme merges to earlier schemes, the Prime Minister Rojgar Yojana, this is the first scheme and uh, Rural Employment Generation Program REGP. So by merging these two schemes, the PMEGP was born. Okay. So what to remember in this slide, it is a credit linked subsidy scheme, right? And whatever is its goal, right? And it is focusing on non-farm sector for both rural and urban areas. It is for non-farm sector, not for farmers. This scheme is not for farm sector, not for farmers. It is for non-farm sector. So who is the nodal agency? The scheme is implemented by Khadi and Village Industries Commission KVIC, right? The state level implementation involves state KVIC directorates, state Khadi and Village Industries boards, district industry centers and banks right so these are the nodal agencies right kvic is the nodal agency and now that is also very important who is the nodal agency of pmegp it, it is khadi and village industries commission scope now that is also very important this scheme is applicable to all viable projects technically as well as economically viable projects in rural as well as urban areas under micro enterprises sectors, the maximum cost of project admiss uh, admissible under the manufacturing sector is 50 lakhs. It used to be, I guess, 20 lakhs or 25 lakhs, but now the limit has been increased to 50 lakhs. And for business and service sector, the limit is 20 lakhs. For manufacturing, it is 50 lakhs. For business and service sector, it is 20 lakhs. Only one person from a family is eligible to obtain financial assistance under the scheme. One person per family okay, can avail the scheme. Assistance under the scheme is available only for new projects, not for old projects. Assistance under the scheme will not be available to uh, activities indicated in the negative list under the scheme. Okay. So what is important here, the maximum cost of the project that is acceptable. Okay, only one person from the family is eligible only for the new projects. Now this slide is also very important maximum cost for manufacturing and business. It's uh, for manufacturing plants, it's 50 lakhs maximum uh, project cost limit. And for business and services, it is only 20 lakhs that is important. So in the general category, Beneficiaries, if you are a general category beneficiary, 90% of bank finance would be available. Subsidy in the urban area available would be 15%. For the rural, uh, rural area, subsidy would be 25%. The KVIC would provide this subsidy, right? 
for the special category beneficiary for the SC, ST, right? The bank finance available would be 95%, right? And the subsidy available would be 25% in the urban area and 35% in the rural area. Obviously, 9% is if, it, if the bank finance is 90%. The promoter's contribution is 10% and if the bank finance is 95%, promoter contribution is 5%. And please remember these numbers, they are very important for your exam, right? Questions are asked from this particular topic at the time of interviews as well. Please remember that. Make notes if you want to, otherwise you can take the printouts. Uh, what do you mean by special category? SC, ST, OBC, minorities women, ex-servicemen, physically handicapped, NER, hill, border areas, all these are special categories, right? So please remember that. Bank provides a balance amount as term loans and working capital, right? So eligibility, any individual whose age is 18 and above and uh, he must have passed at least eight standard for setting of project costing more than 10 lakh rupees in manufacturing and more than 5 lakhs in the business or the service sector. If you have a loan loan, then 8 standard. You must have cleared 8 standard. Uh, Self-help groups are eligible to take the loans. Uh, institutions registered under the Societies Registration Act. Production Cooperative Societies and Charitable Trust. All these institutions are eligible to get the loan under this category, right? under this scheme. Let's do some questions. What is the maximum project unit cost allowed under PM EGP for manufacturing sector? The latest limit is 50 lakh rupees. Under the PME GP, uh, what percentage of project cost can a general category beneficiary in an urban area can expect as a loan from bank? Just hold. So the answer is 90%, right? So the general category, uh, general category borrowers can get nine beneficiaries can get 90% as bank loan. The special category can get 95% as bank loan, right? It's not 15%. It is 90% can be availed as bank loan. Who are eligible for PME GP projects? Individual whose age is minimum 18 years and they are going to start a new business. They are eligible. Okay. Which agency routes government subsidies directly to beneficiaries bank accounts under PME GP? The KVIC is the nodal agency. Please remember that. That's an important question. CGT uh, SME, very important credit guarantee trust for micro and small on, uh, enterprises. See students, the banks, they were not ready to give loans to the micro and the small industry, small enterprises because they don't trust them. That is why the government, uh, the, the Ministry of Micro and Small Enterprises came up with CGT SME, right, to provide guarantee on behalf of these uh, small enterprises, right. So the purpose of the coverage of collateral free loans is to provide collateral free collateral free loans of up to five crores to micro and small industries, right. So collateral free loans would be provided under the scheme, right. So guarantee coverage, micro enterprises, 85% uh, guarantee coverage would be provided if credit is up to 5 lakh rupees. For MSMEs operated by women and loans uh, and credit in the Northeast region, uh, loans up to 50 lakh rupees, 80% coverage would be provided. For all other categories, 75% guarantee would be provided. Okay. So this is very important. This particular slide is very, very important. Micro enterprises who are getting credit up to 5 lakh rupees, they are going to get 85% uh, guarantee coverage under the scheme. Okay. So this is the table, right? If you want to just read it, it's same as the previous one. It is same as I, I told you in the previous slide. Uh, but if you want to do it, uh, you can. This is the same. I mean, I have summarized it here up to 5 lakh rupees, it is 85%, right, for micro enterprises. So between 5 to 50 lakh, it is 75%, for all other categories, 75%. So it's same as this one, right, you can read it, easy to read, table is kind of complicated. Current entrepreneurs and aspirant entrepreneurs can benefit from the scheme, right. So what is the primary objective of credit guarantee scheme for 
माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेज इन इंडिया इनकरेज सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट थ्रू कोलेटरल फ्री लोन्स एंड टू प्रोवाइड क्रेडिट गारंटीज राइट अंडर क्रेडिट गारंटी स्कीम फॉर माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेज वॉट इज़ द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ लोन विच एंटरप्राइज कैन रिसीव अ गारंटी कवरेज ऑफ एट्टी फाइव परसेंट फाइव लाख रुपीज फाइव लाख रुपीज इन द प्रीवियस लाइट आई टोल्ड यू राइट वॉट परसेंटेज ऑफ गारंटी कवरेज इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेज विद क्रेडिट रेंजिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टी लैक्स टू फाइव क्रॉस इंगेज इन रिटेल ट्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑल ऑफ द कैटेगरी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट एंड द लास्ट वन एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी एलिजिबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट दिस स्कीम इज क्रूशल मैकेनिज्म फॉर फंडिंग खादी प्रोग्राम अंडरटेकन बाई खादी इंस्टीट्यूशन राइट सो खादी इंस्टीट्यूशन रिसीव अ क्रेडिट एट अ कंसेशनल रेट ऑफ फोर परसेंट फॉर वर्किंग कैपिटल राइट सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्चुअल लेंडिंग ऑब्वियसली द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज हायर द डिफरेंस इज पेड बाय के वी आई सी के वी आई सी इज अ नोडल एजेंसी हेयर एलिजिबल इंस्टीट्यूशन दोज विद वैलिड खादी सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड सेंक्शन खादी प्रोग्राम्स रजिस्टर्ड विद के वी आई सी और स्टेट खादी एंड विलेज इंस्टीट्यूशन इंडस्ट्रीज बोर्ड दिल रिसीव द खादी सर्टिफिकेट्स राइट द आई एस ई सी एम पावर्स डिजर्विंग स्टूडेंट टू परस यू द हायर एडुकेशन रिगार्डिंग दर जस्ट जस्ट फिगर अबाउट दस ये नहीं करना आपको ठीक है सो अंडर द इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी एलिजिबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट स्कीम खादी इंस्टीट्यूशन रिसीव अ क्रेडिट एट वॉट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फोर परसेंट पर एन एम ओके विच इंस्टीट्यूशन आर एलिजिबल टू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी एलिजिबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट इंस्टीट्यूशन विद वैलिड खादी सर्टिफिकेट एंड सेंक्शन खादी प्रोग्राम्स ओके बिसाइड्स खादी इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉट अदर सेक्टर डज आई एस ई सी स्कीम सपोर्ट्स इट्स अ हायर एडुकेशन राइट सो ऑल दो इट्स नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट स्टिल यू कैन डू इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट आई एस ई एस जस्ट अ सेकेंड आई एस ई एस एम्पावर्स आर डिजर्विंग डिजर्विंग स्टूडेंट्स टू परस्यू देयर हायर एजुकेशन रिगार्डलेस ऑफ देयर इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड बाई लाइटनिंग द फाइनेंशियल वर्डन ऑफ एजुकेशन लोन सो यू गेट एजुकेशन लोन एट द रेट ऑफ फोर परसेंट है ओके सो आई गेस दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे IBPS RRB Scale Two and Scale Three course. It's available on bankexamstudy.com, and this is the demo session for IBPS RRB Scale Two and Scale Three course, in which we are providing video classes, live sessions, weekly quizzes, notes, and the test series, and then the interview preparation guidance. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. List of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams, and I'm really, really happy for them. and you can be one of them in the future and i'm sure you will be one of them in the future for sure right so if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are here to answer your doubts right so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye